Hey what's going on guys, Chris here, showing you all of them weapons in Halo 5. And in this video, I'll be giving you a complete guide to all the UNSC weapons. There's a total of 13 UNSC weapons that you'll be able to pick up and use whilst you play the game. So let's get started. The first weapon I'm going to be showing you today is the very common MA5D Assault Rifle. It's the standard issue rifle given to UNSC infantry to tackle with their war against the Covenant. It's a gas operated, magazine fed, fully automatic assault rifle which is designed to deal with targets in close quarter proximities, up to medium ranges. It's a very common weapon that you'll find in the Halo games and most of the time, it's the weapon you'll be given upon spawning. The assault rifle fires 7.62 NATO rounds and in Halo 5, there's 36 bullets in each magazine, four more than the previous Halo titles. Zooming in with the smart scope allows you to acquire a better view for target acquisition, which will also eliminate the weapon spread, though zooming with the smart scope will also increase recoil. Because of the assault rifle's lack of range, it's best firing the gun in control burst to keep a higher accuracy at longer ranges, and only firing full auto in close quarter combat. It's best focusing your fire on one enemy at a time. You might find that you don't have enough ammo in the magazine to handle two enemies, if they've got armour, or they can withstand more damage. Take down one enemy first, reload the gun, and then go after the next one once you've reloaded. The BR-85N Service Rifle, aka the Battle Rifle, is another USNC infantry gun, but instead of firing in full auto, the Battle Rifle fires in three round bursts, and was mainly used after the Covenant War. It's a gas operated magazine fed weapon that can carry 36 rounds per magazine. The BR-85N has a medium to high damage per hit, and it's better suited for medium to long ranges. The Halo 5 Battle Rifle fires slightly quicker than the models in the other games and now has a red dot sight styled optic when aiming down sights in smart scope. It has a relatively high accuracy and can be especially lethal when dealing headshot damage. Aiming for the chest is a good strategy to use with the Battle Rifle, as the gun's recoil will naturally push your free round bursts upwards at your enemy's head. Aiming directly at your target's head will allow you to deliver more damage for your first shot, but the recoil could force the gun's aim off target, making you miss the rest of your shots in the burst. The M395B Designated Marksman Rifle, or the DMR for short, is a semi-automatic bullpup marksman rifle used mainly in the post-war years. It's got a medium to high damage rate with a high accuracy and is better suited for medium to long range engagements. It's another gas operated, magazine fed rifle and it can carry 15 bullets per magazine. The fire rate for the Halo 5 DMR model is slightly higher than the ones in the previous Halo games. The DMR offers some impressive stopping power, though because it only fires one shot at a time, it can be a risky gun to use at closer ranges, as missing too many of your shots will likely give your opponents a chance to take you out with weapons better suited for close ranges. It's best to aim for the head, as it's capable of dealing lethal damage to unshielded enemies and allow you to deal with your targets quickly and effectively. The M45D Tactical Shotgun is another UNSC weapon and it's an upgraded version of the M45 and the M90 models from previous Halo games. It's a pump action shotgun and fires 8 gauge magnum shells. It carries a total of 5 rounds at a time, one less than in Halo 4. The M45D can deal lethally high amounts of damage in closer proximities and is capable of taking out enemies in one shot at point blank range. Though over long distances, the gun becomes much weaker and dishes out far less damage. Though its one shot kill range is higher than the Promethean Scattershot. It's also got a low reload time and a pretty large spread, making it almost useless beyond close range. When smart scoping with a weapon, the spread of the bullets is reduced and the shotgun fires in a semi automatic mode. Another weapon commonly used by the UNSC forces is the M6 HPDW. It's a handgun which was adopted as the standard issue personal sidearm of all branches of the UNSC by 2555. It's usually given to you upon spawning for your secondary weapon. Unlike the previous versions of the M6H, in Halo 5, the weapon doesn't have a smart link scope and instead has closer iron sight light optics. Its ammo capacity has been increased to 12 round detachable magazines, from the 8 round magazines in other titles, and it's also more powerful and has a slightly quicker reload time. The weapon fires in a semi auto mode and is better suited for taking out targets in closer to medium ranges dealing a medium amount of damage with some overall good accuracy. Higher amounts of damage is dealt for headshots and if you're accurate enough, it's a good alternative from the assault rifle for taking out enemies at slightly longer ranges. The M9 HEDP Fragmentation Grenade is a high explosive throwable grenade issued to the UNSC. It's an effective weapon when used against infantry and lightly armoured vehicles. It's surprisingly bouncy, giving it the ability to be deflected off hard surfaces and around corners. 
Once thrown, the grenade will detonate a few seconds afterwards, killing some enemies within its blast radius and usually depleting enemy shields. The M20 submachine gun is a test weapon issued to the Spartan 4 soldiers in battle as a possible replacement for the M7 SMG from the other Halo games, though the M20 has still got a very similar design to the older model. The gun fires in a fully automatic mode and can deal high amounts of damage at close to medium ranges. The M20 has a very high rate of fire, but as a trade-off lacks the accuracy that some of the other weapons have, making it more ideal for short range situations. With a magazine size of 60 bullets, the SMG is much more suitable for spray and prey tactics, suppressing your enemies and allowing you to continue dealing damage upon them, whilst they reload with their smaller magazines. The M739 light machine gun, also known as the squad automatic weapon, is the heavy hitter of the bunch where suppressive fire and high amounts of damage is needed. The saw is fully automatic and powerful enough to kill enemies in short bursts, as it has a high damage rate and a very high rate of fire, even higher than the Halo 4 version. With a magazine size of 72 rounds, the saw is capable of taking out several enemies in just one magazine. Though it's not got the best accuracy, so the weapon is better suited for closer ranges, as a lot of your shots will miss if you take on opponents that are further away, down to there being a large amount of vertical recoil as you fire. The reload time is also quite slow, but you should manage to get a few kills before you run out of bullets. The SRS-99 sniper rifle in Halo 5 is the successor to the S2 variants used throughout the Human Covenant War by the UNSC Navy and Marine Corps. It's a semi-auto sniper rifle which is gas operated and fed with magazines. The SRS-99 is very accurate and has the ability to take out energy shielded armour. The weapon only has a 4 round magazine and the reload time is also quite slow but the gun also has some very strong damage and great range, capable of dropping targets at very long distances. The zoom function from Halo 4 is now replaced with the new smart scope mechanic, and although the sniper is a long distance weapon, it can be used against shielded opponents in close range to eliminate their shields, and take them out quickly with a melee attack. Though the sniper often requires some skill to master due to its slow rate of fire, heavy recoil and small magazine size, leaving you hardly any room for error. The ARC920 or the Railgun is a compact channel linear accelerator that fires a high explosive round at very high speed after it charges up. A direct hit from the Railgun is usually lethal and can kill most enemies in one shot, as it can deal a huge amount of damage to anyone unlucky enough to be on the other end of it. The Railgun only holds one slug per magazine and has a very slow rate of fire, often requiring you to trace your target in order to hit them as the delay between when you pull the trigger and your shot firing means that you'll have to remain accurate as much as possible. It's best used in shorter to medium ranges, as targets too far away might prove to be difficult to hit, especially as you'll need to charge your shot first. It's weak against vehicles despite it being a high explosive weapon, though it's got a much quicker charging time to the Spartan laser, however it's slightly longer than the railgun's charge time in Halo 4. The M57 rocket launcher is a shoulder fired surface to surface heavy weapon issued to UNSC forces in 2558 and it performs very similar to the M41 rocket launcher from previous Halo games. Despite performing the same as the M41, the M57 is designed very differently, featuring a single reusable fixed tube and detachable box magazines rather than dual rotating preloaded disposable tubes and the launcher is fed by a two round detachable box magazine, giving the launcher two shots per mag. A 2 times magnification scope folds out from the module on the left side when activated, and its missiles are able to lock onto aircraft if the operator uses the smart scope feature. The launcher is also capable of taking out vehicles and infantry from almost any range, though splash damage can injure and even kill yourself, if you fire at targets that are too close. The MLRS-1 Hydra launcher is a medium range rapid fire airburst missile launcher which is a brand new weapon introduced in Halo 5. It features a 6 missile revolving cylinder and it fires in a semi-automatic mode. Firing rocket propelled explosives, the Hydra can dish out medium amounts of damage and is effective against both infantry and vehicles. The Hydra also has a lock on feature and its rockets are capable of homing in on targets, although there is a lock on time before you can acquire the target. The Hydra is highly effective in both close quarters and at medium range engagements and it can be used in a direct fire mode, though it's most effective when locking onto your enemies. The Hydra's semi-automatic targeting and tracking system allows you to target infantry and even distinct parts of hostile vehicles to kill enemies efficiently. 
The M6E Spartan Laser is an upgraded version of the original M6 model, and it's a directed energy anti-vehicle weapon used by the UNSC. The Spartan Laser is a very slow fire rate and must be charged up for roughly about 5 seconds or so before it fires its shot. It's super effective at destroying and heavily damaging vehicles, and it's also lethal to most enemies if they're in line with the beam that fired out. Its accuracy is perfect and you don't have to take any recoil into account, plus it can be used over long distances and doesn't lose any damage at range, but the laser can be deadly towards yourself when using point blank range due to the weapon's splash damage. The Spartan laser has 100 battery units which equals to 4 shots. So these are all the UNSC weapons in Halo 5. As far as handheld guns go, that's about it, so make sure you check out all the Covenant and Promethean weapons in the game in my other videos. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this guide or found it useful, and subscribe for more gaming goodness. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.